Okay. Um, first, make sure your um, your cigarette lighter works when the car is totally off. Mine does not, so I had to put a cheater plug down here. I got a whole box of crap that runs. I do a lot of stuff with my car. Um, mine has full-time power. Um, you guys figure that part out yourself. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. I put my wire over here for the uh, breakaway. That way I don't step on it. You don't want to first put your seat back. I think mine's already back. Nope, put it back. You want to make sure this fitting is all the way tight because every time this falls, it can start uh, unscrewing that. Put it down in there. Upwards like that. And then there's this little button on the top right there. You want to hit that and it'll collapse. Uh, when you go to pull it off, you just lift right here and it'll pull it right out bottom in first straddle it push that little button I just showed you and it tightens right down on the pedal then you're gonna want to plug it in to your power source that is on 24 7 these do have um, capacitors in them but they they don't work um, make the seat come up against it actually mine is pushed in all the way so I'm gonna have to power it on Never mind what I'm doing right now. Okay, there we go. Not reset. Uh, you don't want to push your seat clear up against it to where it's just a little bit snug. A little box over there gets in the way sometimes. There, snug. Then you're going to want to hook the breakaway wire up. I run it through the top and then plug it in. And then you push the power button, blinks back and forth. That means it's ready to sync. Press the setup button. And as long as that's green, you're ready to go. Uh, the breakaway will turn orange when the breakaway does activate. Um, and setup, I've never really had an issue with that. There you go, that's how to set it up in here. Okay, sorry for all the wind grab your cable and on these this is like your last ditch effort to save your car um, if your hitch breaks like say right here your tow chains will catch it uh, sometimes it will snap because nobody really maintenances them you don't know what's underneath there for when they break but me uh, if that doesn't break but if this broke I've actually had this break right there on a super duty and it's just three bolts holding it in, which is pretty secure. But just imagine this breaks, this breaks, all that falls off, you lost your car. So uh, I secure this to something that isn't attached to all this. And on my camper, it is the bumper. Also the, uh, the rack up here, but uh, the bumper is pretty good. Um, I'm going to secure it around the bumper. First, you're going to want to secure it to your installed clip. I always check if it works. Mine just pulled out. So I guess I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on that but for the video purpose. And then you pull it up here. It's hard to do. There we go. Secure it around there, pulls down to there, and eventually it would pull out. I guess I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on my uh, Mine underneath there, it is not held on with just a zip tie. It has a clamp in the back and it has a screw going through it, but it's been on there for 300,000 miles, so it must have uh, rotted off. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you hook it up out here. Okay, now we're back in the tow vehicle, that is, or uh, the vehicle that is doing the towing. In my case, it's a motor home. Um, we're 41, or 30. Six foot long, so we're about the longest you can get that's not uh, CDL. Um, I've never had connection issues with this before uh, for length. Um, you're gonna want to plug it into the side. It'd be nice if they gave you a mounting bracket or something. You're gonna want to plug it into your uh, cigarette lighter. This motor home has no cigarette lighter, so I gotta plug it into this adapter. And uh, it should say breakaway ready if everything's hooked up right 
and uh, as long as that's plugged in right on the top of the unit and uh, if you want to manually do the brakes you hit this kind of hard to see from here but it just applied the brakes on the car by itself there's a light um, the manual really doesn't go over this too well to teach you anything but uh I don't use this it's more for a safety thing if it broke away it apply a seven which is enough to stop my car almost immediately uh, if you're a big truck you'd probably need a 10 or something who knows uh, but I don't use I always leave force on one because I there's no way that thing is going to stop my motor home. Um, I've had it stop a bus before uh, that I was hauling, but um, I don't need to wear out the brakes on my car when the motorhome can do all the braking. Now, I do have it set up if I push this because I'm on ice or something, the car will straighten out a little bit. Um, I do use that on off ramps and all that because I've had problems with that before. Um, but no, if it breaks away, everything will come up here. Now, if the battery does go dead, it comes up and says uh, low battery, and then it'll say disconnect, and it'll keep the light on at night. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helped.